welcome to today's episode of Living Abroad, where we look at the trials, tribulations and quirks of our international guests. Today we have Andrea from Colombia coming in to chat to us about student life. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Andrea. I have been here for seven months. Uh, I'm studying a diploma, a management diploma. Uh, I faced some troubles to come to Australia, but now I'm very happy here. Welcome, Andrea. Hola. Hola, como estas? <laughs> I'm good, I think. <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, it's like, uh, how are you? Oh, okay. So it's okay, your answer is okay. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, tell us about Colombia. Um, Colombia is a very beautiful country. Uh, it's um, smaller than Australia, mm -hmm. but we have uh, a lot of people. The population is around 45 million. Oh, wow. So it's uh, a lot of people, but it's a very nice country. Oh, wonderful. Are there any traditions that you do in Colombia? Uh, yes, we have a lot of traditions. Um, for example, the birthday, the 15th birthday for the girls is very important. Mm. Uh, so every girl has a big party oh, wow. in his 15th <laughs> birthday. Mm -hmm. I think this is a popular tradition, but also the, um, we have like uh, the Father's Day, the Mom's Day, a special day for everything. Oh good, it's similar yeah. to Australia. <laughs> yeah, something like that, but I think here is a uh, less days than Colombia. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of public holidays. Here is just a few. Oh, okay, <laughs> so, lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> well, I see you brought um, a gift today. Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I brought some Colombian coffee. Oh, wow. So, mm -hmm. it's uh, Juan Valdez. Oh, cool. It's oh. a Colombian brand. It's uh, very popular. And this is a wallet. It's in a Colombian material. Oh. My grandma makes me. Oh wow! But beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. The material is fique. It's a Colombian material, mm -hmm. and you can find a lot of uh, things in that material, like handbags or um, belts. A lot of things. It's nice. So. Oh, excellent! <laughs> it's very typical. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for that lovely gift. <laughs> Would you like to play a fun Australian game with me? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Toss the Thong. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an Australian game. And you throw the thong so that it lands face up in the middle of a circle. Okay. So do you think you're ready? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I'm so good. <laughs> So Andrea, tell us about your first impression of Australia. Okay, I think that um, was a very good impression. Mm -hmm. I arrived um, in the middle of the winter, but <laughs> also was uh, not very cold, was uh, very good weather. Um, it's a very organized city, I love that. The public transport is amazing for me, I think it's very good. Um, and I think my point of view was like, oh, here is like the movies. It's oh, like really? because it was a little bit, not a little bit. It's very different from Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, so my homestay mom used to do things like I never seen in my country, but it was a very good. Oh, excellent! Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Did you have um, any expectations of Australia before you came here? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, a lot of friends came to Australia a few years ago, mm -hmm. and they told me that Australia is an awesome place. So my expectations was very high, but I think I accomplished everything. Oh, that's good everything. to hear Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. It's and very good. Do you miss your family a lot? <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure. The family is like the most important thing in my life, so I miss them a lot, but also it's a good experience. And uh, I keep in touch with them as frequently as I can. So um, I miss them, but I think that 
I have to live this experience and it's okay. Oh good, well yeah. are you staying somewhere at the moment where you have support from friends? Yeah, sure, I have a few friends, um, Colombian friends, yes. <laughs> some uh, Swiss friends, uh, one of my close friends lives with Italian people, so we spend some time with them now in my new college. The college uh, do a lot of activities, outdoor activities, so we spend a lot of time there and it's uh, a lot of support. Oh, wonderful. Which um, activities do you like doing? Uh, I think that Australian is a synonym of barbecue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I spend a lot of time in barbecues when I arrive. And uh, now it's uh, a few barbecues, but also fireworks. Mm. Um, I don't know, movies, or just a walk through the city. Or sometimes with my homestay mom, I went once to do jet ski oh, through yes. the river. It was very nice. And um, I went to an island with them. Mm -hmm. I don't know, different activities, but very nice activities. Yes, definitely. We're like yeah. big on outdoor activities because the weather's yeah. so beautiful most of the year. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's very nice. I love that oh, from good. here. It's very, very nice. Did you find um, difficulties financially moving to Australia? Because um, the cost of living is quite high compared to other countries around the world. Yeah, sure. It's very, very expensive. Mm. If you compare to Colombia, it's we cannot compare because our ma our coin is very very cheap. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for me it's very expensive. But I think that the the people who works here earn very good money. Yes. So that's the reason. Mm. So my parents support me financial. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also um, I work or I'm Part trying. Job? Yeah, I'm trying to find a job. Uh, yeah, so I think that uh, it's expensive, but uh, it's worthy. Yeah, definitely. It's very good. All right, so Andrea, I'm curious to know about your take on culture shock. You know, if you go to a different country and things seem really different, um, did you experience that at all coming to Australia? Yeah, sure, it's pretty different. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Colombian people, it's um, like more, no more friendly because here the people is very friendly and is very polite mm -hmm. but we are very different i think we are more Fasty. i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to explain more passionate <laughs> yeah something like that and also um, the language is a huge mm -hmm. problem and i i don't know i think uh, for example in colombia i think the people is more family center yes here i think the people is more Independent? Yeah, I think it's something like that. Also, I think the young, the young people here is completely different mm -hmm. than Colombia. For me, it was a little bit. <gasps> oh, okay. But uh, that kind of things, I, I think the food. <laughs> <laughs> my God, the food is completely different. And I think here, I don't know, the Asian people can find easy. Mm -hmm their food but for me is too difficult oh, so we need to bring some more colombian cuisine yeah to <laughs> please you're going to love it well, please, if you can bring it that would be awesome <laughs> sure i can do some arepas or <laughs> empanadas i Love don't know but it. yeah it's very nice Colum oh, i miss all the colombian food oh, for excellent. sure <laughs> yeah um anything else in terms of transport getting to places um, yeah sure in here the transport is very organized I, for example, if I take the train, the train is in this time, in this station, I, I will be in my, my destiny at the exact time. In Colombia, it's a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have train, so it's terrible because the traffic jam is massive. Mm. So I think I love here the transport. It's a little bit expensive, a little mm. bit. But <laughs> Well, at least but you get where you want to go. <laughs> but it's very good and if you want to go to the beach, it's... Quite close. Yeah, so I love that. In Colombia, my city is far, far away from, from the um, coast, so mm -hmm. I love that oh, from here. That sounds good. Excellent. Yeah, sure. <laughs>
good are you finding any difficulties in terms of language and making new relationships or studying is that difficult uh, I think that Australia has a lot of slangs and uh, you change a lot of words so um, <laughs> if you say something I learned in my high school in one way mm -hmm. but here you change with, I don't know for example comfortable is comfy or <laughs> yeah. I don't Barbecue know is Barbie. Barbie, yeah <laughs> or for example um, the sandals is tongues and the swimsuit is stuck yeah yeah <laughs> and the umbrella is not umbrella so, <laughs> so you have to be careful and you have to pay attention okay or for example I was once with um, one child watching TV and in the program say cray cray <laughs> and for me it was like ah new word and he say what that's crazy oh sure yeah. <laughs> I was like okay oh, that's awesome well, we're gonna lead on to that we're gonna do a bit of trivia and slang so okay, you've already got a head start so that's good <laughs> <laughs> okay right. well, let's we'll see that started. <laughs> All right, now we're going to play a trivia game. So it's based on slang and general facts about Australia. Now what Andrea's going to do, she's going to write down her answers when I show her the picture. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. What does chuck a sickie mean? And in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one... <laughs> oh, blank face. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So chucking a sickie, I guess, means finding an excuse for why you don't want to go into work one day. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. so making up an excuse where you can't like go in. Like sickie days. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> but you have okay, too many okay. public holidays, so you don't need that. Ah, <laughs> yeah, in Colombia, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Okay. What does spit the dummy mean? In five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Kill what? I don't have any idea. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> so I guess spit the dummy means when you have a tantrum. A tantrum? A tantrum, so okay. you're exaggerating about things and ah, okay. yeah, getting a bit emotional okay, okay. for no, no reason. No, is no. No, <laughs> it's close. Okay. All right, who is this gentleman with a beard? <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't have to write. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? So this is Ned Kelly. So he's a famous bushman from Australia. Okay. An outlaw. <laughs> All right, do you know what this delicious tub is. Delicious. It's a delicious sure spread. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about the spelling. Yeah, Vegemite. <laughs> have you tried some yourself? Yeah. But yeah, I you have. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for joining us here today. I hope you've had a bit of fun with us. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Whenever I'm next in Colombia, will you show me around? For sure, you have to go. Colombia is an amazing place. You <laughs> well, have I'm to go, for looking sure. Looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for tuning in to Living Abroad today. My name is Rachel, and see you next time.